Hello YouTube, I know it's been a long time again, uh, I'm not gonna be on here frequently, but I have two different reviews for you today. Lay's Grilled Cheese and Tomato Soup Flavored Chips and Mountain Dew Maui Burst. Oh. It doesn't have a distinctive smell for the chips, but I will say that the initial taste test was a bit lackluster. It's just the aftertaste that tastes like the flavor that it's supposed to be. And of course I fucked up with the bag flip. No one fucking cares. And there we go. Perfect. <laughs> but now the Mountain Dew. There we go. Sometimes it's difficult for me to open it. But hey, that's just the way I am. And the way I roll. It does smell like pineapple. And don't mind my father's loud ass fucking voice. He's talking to his other ex that he has a kid with. And he put it on fucking speakerphone. Like always. Because he's an ass. That does taste kind of like pineapple. I mean, the can's fucking awesome. It's badass for the design. I love that design. Uh, which, like usual, that means I'm keeping the fucking can. I only keep them for things that are either limited edition, things I am sure I won't always be able to find, or, you know, the usual, it's been discontinued after a while, and I know it's going to be. Those are the reasons I keep the cans and bottles. They're like special or something. But yeah, sorry, I had to belch internally. And a second time. Uh, yeah. They're both pretty good. I mean, the Maui Burst is fucking awesome. But the chips are a bit on the so so side. They're lackluster to me. And I'm not trying to hate on the brand because they're an awesome brand don't get me wrong 
They're fucking great. They have some flavors I don't really like or don't care for. And some that I absolutely hate. But I don't hate the company. And, uh... Yeah. But I would like to show a mini tour of my bedside. Um, my mask. Obviously, is not finished just yet. I still have to color in some red spots on it and color in the gold colored portion completely with uh, gold coloring. So it's even better. Um, of course, you got the choker. All the way up there, my rosary bead necklace with glass beads, my crucifix, my assassin's creed, <laughs> rogue, uh, necklace. Sorry. My brain couldn't properly think of what it was again. But then the good and evil uh, pen colored angel necklace. And of course the one I'm wearing my supernatural Samuelet necklace. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um. Yeah. I have no idea when my next video is going to be. I'm not gonna lie to any of my fans or anyone else that might be watching ever. Uh, but yeah. But, I will say this, though it is uncertain to me when my next YouTube video will ever come up, but I do know that I might not always be on YouTube as the uh, platform for making videos. And I don't mean I'm um, taking my business to Instagram or Facebook. No. I mean a different kind of company and app. But that that's in the future. That's not in the present right now. But I might get on my Xbox after this video uploads and play some WWE 2K20 again.
I already created one character. He's awesome. Um, he's the newest, most recent addition to my list of uh, characters I created. And no, he's not entirely a creepypasta character. He's kind of a combination of two characters and their names being combined into one. It's also the name of my username on Call of Duty Mobile. And I do have a clan on there as well. My clan is called Creepy Furs. That is all one word. And the C and the F are both capitalized. It's for any creepy pasta fans, furries, other can Therian, uh, mythology lovers, um, you can join if you want. I'm the only member currently. But I am the creator of that clan. And if you search for it, you will find my username as the leader, obviously. I mean, join if you want. Like, I'm not telling you, I'm not forcing you to join. You can join only if you want to. Because I'm trying to be more uh, peaceful, less violent in life. But that doesn't mean that if you cross me and uh, piss me off in a way that is uh, not so smart. That doesn't guarantee that I won't confront you in any number of various ways. It's not always going to be completely peaceful, depending on the situation, though. It would only be bad if you made it so. But that's enough about that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this video soon. Uh, always remember, stay 200% motherfucking savage. Uh, peace. And, uh, always be yourself. Do not let others dictate how you are or who you are. Don't be weighed down by other people's bullshit. It's their own decision to be an asshole like that. So don't let them get to you.